我人睇嘅喎。Okay, two people like this. What up, guys? Hey! Oh, we have ten people now. Twenty-six. Hi. Hello. So we got Emily helping out, holding the camera. Is that sexy glasses? <laughs> you mean this? You put it on, yeah. No, I can't. <laughs> PG, 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 even though the channel name is quite inappropriate, Reefer. Uh, oh, okay. hi, guys. So, uh, the reason for this live stream is that we actually broke up some rocks for the Reef boss. Let me turn off the uh, music first. Alexa, stop. Sorry, but I stopped everybody's life. <laughs> uh, really quick, really quick. Basically, I kind of gave you guys a quick sneak peek uh, in, I think, two weeks ago uh, in one of the videos about the tank I'm using for Rico's Nano Tank Challenge 2018. Vast. Is a Voss or jaw? I'm not sure, you tell me. Uh, some people say that if it's a Voss, it has no cap. Oh, if it's true. a jar, then it's a cap. So I don't know, uh, I like to call it a Voss, but sometimes I like to call it a jar, just a mess of people. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so essentially, if Emily will follow me, let me show you that the last few weeks, right? Uh, I think it's almost two months. I've been curing a lot of the Pukini rocks and part of the mess. Let me turn on the light right here. Mm -hmm. um, so I have a bunch of Pukini rocks right here. I want to just kind of tuck in there. Can I put your phone inside? Uh, yeah, it's Drop. waterproof. All good. So we got a light selection of rocks. So today uh, I've been procrastinating. I figured, okay, finally it's time. So we pick out a rock about this size. We use a flathead screwdriver. We hammer it to break into different parts. And I want to show you guys the different aquascape that we could potentially go with. Oh, we have 93 people now. Hey, what's up guys? Thank you for joining after a long day at work. So with all these rocks, I was able to kind of construct like two and a half or two major pieces of landscape uh, aquascape. Uh, first one is really basic. And I don't mean basic in a bad way. <laughs> so this is straight up simple, right? This is a column look. We got, uh, we put, imagine this. Sand will be about this high. And then we have this piece right in the center with like one or two accent piece on the side. Um, so the idea is to grow some SPS uh, right here. And hopefully they'll start reaching up. So it looks almost like a really well-defined garden. All right, so that's one look that we can go for. And we have two accent piece on the side. Option we can, one. We can grow some zoas and we have nice sand and maybe there will be a goby or something, something small enough to live in a tiny jar like this. Mm -hmm. Maybe probably just all inverse, maybe it's all shrimps. We'll see. So that's option one, really clean and simple. And by the way, I'm telling you guys all these options because I cannot choose. I need some help. Uh, feel free to leave a comment. Um, shit, I may not be able to see the comment, actually. Once I end the video, it's gone. So Emily, just kind of keep track and see which one people yeah, seem to like. Yeah, about the bird cage. Ah, uh, yeah, the bird cage. It's gone. <laughs> uh, so Love bird fine, is gone. Fine, let's, let's go to tangent a little bit. Um, if you follow this channel since the beginning, for the first year and a half, two years, there's always this smoke alarm going off whenever I speak. It's actually my bird. It's my white body kaik, stinky. And um, stinky. I've had him for 12 years. But sadly, the, the beginning of last year, as I was letting my dog into the house, he decided to just fly out into the forest behind the house. And that's it. That's the last I saw of him. Uh, really sad. But if you go back to some of my older videos, a lot of people hate him because it's super annoying. I don't hear it anymore because of white noise. Anyways, that's a tangent. Let's go back here. So okay. option one. Hi, DC Reefers. Nice meeting you. What's up, DC Reefers? Uh, so this is the really simple layout, right? Uh, we happen to break, break off a piece of rock that works really nice like a platform. We actually have two. We got another one right here. Hmm. Um, but I kind of like just singular focus. Grow some SPS, some mini money cap right here, some like uh, Alcorn and stuff like that right here, maybe money Pro Digitata right here. So they'll go upwards, right? And then we got some maybe Fathead Andro down here in the shade, some Redactus and Zoas on the side, and obviously more stuff on the side. We'll see. So this is a nice clean look. Now, option number two is a little bit more ambitious, and I'm not sure how well they'll play out. So right here, we got one, two, three, four, five pieces of rock, kind of like all jumbled together. And um, this thing as a unit will not fit in the Voss mouth. So I will be taking this, all these apart and kind of reassembling them in the Voss, uh, assuming I don't break them right now. Oh, shit. Some say that option one. Some option one, right? Yeah. It's cleaner. 
Yeah, um, I think so. So this Why is kind of option big? two. This is a little bit large, but if we really force it, it should fit. Oh, we can kind of like slim down some of the rocks and that'll fit right here. The reason this is intriguing is because as I look at all the different jaw reefs uh, online, most of them go sort of almost like a wall. Okay, there's a couple, couple different ways people seem to do it. One is almost like a gravel bottom, a lot of little rocks at the bottom and core just grow upwards. Somewhat similar to this option, option one. Some uh, people choose two now. Okay, but, <laughs> and then another, another way a lot of people do it seems to be stacking rocks in the back. In the back wall so it, it's almost like a little cave a little cove and coral grow inwards this way which is really cool as well so it's two really different look um if i really want coral density i want to show off all the corals like oh man this is crazy then i would go for that reef wall look you kind of like encompassed by corals growing inwards and upwards that's impressive that's that's one hmm. But if I want something clean, zen, look neat, then I may go with option one, where just one rock in the middle. If I want something that just, I don't think have really been done before in a vase, then I may go for this option, actually have a proper scape inside the vase. This is challenging because um, during maintenance, you have all these things moving around and stuff like that. And also having something like this is already in an already limited space. That means that you have even less space for coral. So this would be a, this would be a, this would be a challenge as well. Mm -hmm. um, so I can see this working in all three or four different ways. And that's why I'm trying to poll you guys for your opinion, seeing what may, what may be of interest for you guys and what would you guys like to see. And again, I cannot go back and see the comment. Uh, that's actually one thing I really yeah. hope that YouTube can fix. So I'm relying on Emily to just get a comment, just get a sense of like what people seem to like. It's quite even. Yeah, it's quite like, even. Yeah. Okay, and actually for sand, I'm waiting for sand to get here. I ordered some, I think it's called Reef Flakes. I was researching sand, usually I get the Carib Sea Fiji Pink. Mm -hmm. I use that a lot. Uh, but as I started doing research, the Reef Flakes seems to be really popular as well. So I got the Mini Flakes, not the regular Reef Flakes, because I feel like uh, the flow is not going to be super strong, so I'd rather have something a little bit smaller. Someone asked about Hanging Rockscape. Sorry? The Hanging, hanging Oh, Hanging Rockscape. Yeah. That would be cool, but <laughs> not probably not here. Uh, initially, I wanted to do a column tank with some awesome hanging skate that I probably will still do, uh, maybe later this year or next year. So I'm kind of keeping that in the back the back pocket. That would be super fun. But back to this, yeah, I just don't know. And let me show you the equipment. I got to kind of squeeze into this little space right here. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, I shared about the two heaters that well, the one heater that. I, thought about using first. It's one of those beta bow heater that's like a soft piece of plastic that can lay at the bottom. But a lot of people will say that they're not that reliable. Um, and the fact that I want to kind of put them under the sand layer, some people say it's a big no-no. Uh, so I went ahead and go with the more traditional route. Mm -hmm. I went with a little guy, a high door, 25 watts. This seems to have really nice review. Uh, I made sure to get one with a controller on the top so I can control the temperature versus a preset because this seems to be a little bit more reliable. And if it overheats, I'm gonna dial down a little bit. Someone asked about the oxygen as well. The oxygen, good question. Yeah. And that is actually the next thing I'll get into. Uh, so this heater, I'll just put it in here. Oh, so the kind kinda goes so fast. How can I go back and see? You can kinda scroll, you can scroll. Is it? Yeah, they just up. disappear. Oh, I yeah, got there you it. Go. Okay. Sorry, we're well, really new to Sorry, that's my first time yeah. going yeah. YouTube live. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so obviously heater go in there, but the trick is how do you hide it? Especially if we go with this look, right? If we just have one rock in there, the mm -hmm. heater is going to be an eyesore un until the core really grow out. And holy shit. Oh, oh okay, it fits, it fits. So it looks something like this. Let me just lay it in the bottom. Someone asked about the volume of the glass. Shit. How so, big is it? I'm gonna guess it's about one gallon. One okay. one or one point five. I have not tried to test it yet, but but here's a quick look of what it may look like. So you see how the heater is kind of just hanging out in the back? That's not the best look. <laughs> um I thought about here, I'm just gonna leave it in here. Uh I thought about using a canister filter with inline heater, but the problem with that is that the hose the in Input and output hose is really thick as well. Emily, if you want to follow me, I'll pull out the canister filter. No, so, I'm not setting any tags. Sorry, guys. <laughs> no, this is just I'm not ready. 
this so the canister filter that I thought about using is actually the same filter I'm going to use for this planted tank. And I'll show you guys the reason I'm having reservation. Um, so here is the canister filter itself. So this is the Eheim uh, Classic 150. I think that translates to Oh, thank you guys. Something. Are you guys hitting on her? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> What am I missing? They like me more than they like you. You guys haven't even seen oh. her. <laughs> all right, all right. So let me pull out the inflow and outflow. And that was the reason why I kind of got turned off to this. Now, I'm gonna pull out the heater. So for oxygen, right? If I don't go with the canister filter, it'll be a regular, regular air hose like this, mm -hmm. hooked up to a whisper air pump this is like seven bucks really cheap it's supposed to be really tiny so in terms of uh, actual things going to tank it'll be a heater and air holes like this so you okay. want to kind of show them at the bottom so these will be the stuff that's kind of hanging out in the in the tank right now let's say i go with a canister filter for for, uh, for circulation and um inline inline heater for the heat the hose is just thick so that means if this is a straight up vase, it is okay. But the fact that I have a cap, meaning this may be a jar, mm -hmm. I would have to really modify the top. Otherwise it's gonna look something like this. This just looks odd, man. <laughs> yeah. But speaking of kind of like modifying the cap, mm -hmm. I do have a plan for that as well, but it's not gonna accommodate something as thick as this. So this is kind of out of the question. I was actually thinking about using a um, canister filter with these and then with um, the glass lily pipes that's so popular to plant the tank. I thought it would make a really nice, um, nice clean minimalist boss. But that's when I realized that um, like there's like a, there's, it kind of slope in. So a glass lily pipe would not sit perfectly flush. It'll get stuck right here. So glass lily pipe is out. Um, okay, so let's address Someone asked about the lighting of the fast. The lighting, okay, we'll, we'll get right there. It. So to elevate this cap, right? Because right now the cap is glass on glass. And there's a pretty big gap here. So salt creep is gonna come out, meaning that as the water bubble, it's gonna mm -hmm. get sprayed and salt is gonna start creeping out. So I was reading some of the um, fantastic information of Vaz Reef. I forgot, I think it's, is it Mary's? Mary's? It's basically it's one of the big big guys out there on um, these kind of pico tank. So they recommend using almost like an air tube, right, to kind of line the rims, to kind of set the cap off a little bit to seal the gap. So the salt creep is going to get stuck right here and not come out of the tank, so that's why I got these. So my goal is to kind of slice these in half and just kind of wrap it around the edge. So for all of you guys who are thinking about going with a vase reef as well, this may be uh, something you is worth looking into. You start getting like salt water coming out, salt, uh, salt creep. All right, so with that said, that is where we are at in terms of this vase at the moment. Uh, let's take a look at where this is going to sit. Um, and we'll actually go into lighting as well as we go there. So I'm going to swap place with you. You want to just step over here a little bit? Sorry, no. I have a really small house. <laughs> so right here... This is a IKEA shelf we actually bought just for this contest. Uh, I was trying to think of a good good way to present this vase, right? Um, I could put it on a counter. I could uh, just have a little little stand. But once we saw this at IKEA, just gotta have it. You may want to take a couple steps back to show the whole the whole thing. Hmm. We have our Don't Magic like Kingdom hat here. Do you believe in magic? <laughs> And Dory, oh. Okay, and uh, sorry. Someone asked you to put Dory in back in the fish tank. <laughs> oh, Alright, so let's, let me talk about this real quick. Um, the reason I really like this. Oh, someone asked about your spots. <laughs> my what? On your hat. Oh, man. You're so here. this spot, I got stunned by the frog spawn, just like my Monty Pori cap, so that's why there's an empty spot right there. Mm. I'm balding. <laughs> you guys give me too much stress. Uh, okay, it's covered now, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, All, right, All right, so right here, right? Uh, when we saw the shelf, this is perfect because I feel like the black of the shelf really framed the boss. It really made this stand out and it's mm -hmm. perfect height. And I plan to mount 
a light at the top. So there's, there's without buying, without buying a new light. So the drinks? Yeah. Uh, yeah don't, don't in the drinks. Don't show in the drinks. <laughs> inappropriate. inappropriate. Uh, We're inappropriate. So I have two lights that I can, I really want to put on this. Um, number one is the Focus One from uh, Focustronic. Great light, great light. I really like it when it was over the 45 briefly. Um, the quality is good, it's strong, I can rotate the head. But after fitting it, it just wouldn't fit in the space. So I actually thought mm -hmm. about cutting out a big hole right here to fit the uh, the head of the LED. But then even with that, the actual unit is still hanging out in the back. So it's not a good fit. Um, so I went with the other good option that I have. Yeah, I we do could have, have UFO lights. Exactly. Go out about it. We do have the UFO light right here that will work perfectly. And that is actually one of the main reasons we went to Home Depot today to buy stuff to rig this up. Uh, the one that come with, it comes with a hanging kit. So they have a wire and I can hang it right here, but this is as high as it go because of the kit included. So this is kind of goofy if you take a couple steps back to take a look at the whole yeah, thing. Yeah, I think it's fancy too. Yeah, it looks kind of goofy right here. Oh, so someone's it, wife lights your head. Oh, thank There's a brief you. Dudes. So, <laughs> What's up, Dad? Uh, so what I'm gonna do instead, I bought a long bolt. We're gonna drill a hole through this uh, one inch wood and we're gonna bolt it directly on the top. So it's kind of tucked away, mm -hmm. a little bit out of the way and it got enough room for venting. Okay. So with this, I think there's more than, way more than enough light for this little pico light. So if you take a couple mm -hmm. steps back and just look, I think it'll look neat. Uh, right what here, do you guys think? We didn't fasten the bolt yet. Once you got everything set, we're gonna fasten the board so it's flush against the back. And I'm gonna drill holes, probably one hole here, and then one hole here for the plumbing. So we're trying to hide all the air lines and power cable to the back of the shelf. Mm -hmm. uh, so that is where I am so far. Okay, it seems like everyone wanna see my face. So what about if we got 100 lights on this <laughs> yeah. YouTube? No, she's I'm a better YouTuber than me. <laughs> my goodness. <laughs> How about this? How about this? Why don't I swing around? I'll take it from you. No. You stand in front of a light. I'll because the light is got overexposed your face anyway, so you can't really get a cool. cool light. All right, I'll do. Oh, clip. yo, the light. Like, the like, lights go up to so like, fifty cents. Holy right. crap! <laughs> All right, I'm gonna stand in front of a light. Okay, I'm just Whoa. gonna really quickly pan no, over. Guys, you have to make it to hundred. Okay? hundred. We got fifty-eight yeah. right now. Okay, we got. All right, we got fifty-eight. It's okay. It's okay. Yo, Ray, right, Ray is well. calling out for Sally. That was not Sally. We'll, we'll bring Sally up here next time. Yeah. <laughs> well, Sally, you got there about your Oh, we got 60. Answer. We got 60 light. Okay, now, all right. Let's not tease them real quick. All right, you ready? I'm pointing at you. Here's what? the ring light. Go. One quick look. One, two, three. Oh. <laughs> That's Emily. All right. Thank you so much for your help. Um, here, I'll give it back to you. Oh, actually, should I? Wait, wait. Do you guys want to see a quick tank update? I mean, I... should I save it for future updates? There are a lot of things I want to talk about uh, for my other tanks, actually. How long has it been? It's supposed to be a 10-minute stream. 18. Shit. You talk too much, man. <laughs> Should I show them? Do you agree, guys? <laughs> All right, really quick. Here, you take over. I'll do it really quick. I feel bad. Yes, gonna, people say yes. Pinching them off. Thanks. Hold on, let's do the, um, let me... Yeah, that's a drop-off tank. Wait, wait, we got two... Give them the filter first, because right now it looks really blue. Okay. Too excited. We got two new fish. Here's, pop this on. Sorry, I, I have not been monitoring the chat, so I actually don't know who's uh who's in there or not. Uh, so I apologize. Me neither. Okay, here. All right, let me do well, it real I, quick. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna fly through this because uh, obviously I'm way over. So guys, this is a 45 gallon tank. As you know, Actually, light just came on. Uh, just came on for I think 15 minutes, so things are really closed up. But this is a good way to see where the corals are. All eight green chromas are still there. Good stuff. Frog spawn much smaller now. Um, as far as I know, it's not stinging out of things. Bubble to banana me just fed them this morning, so see how the lip is puckered. It's really happy. Money pouring cap. Uh, I thought we're done with the white spot. These are fading, but I see two new spots here, so I really don't know what's going on. Maybe it is the bicolor blenny that's kind of chewing on the, uh, or scraping the Monty Power cap. So I'm going to watch it for another week. If so, I'm going to pull the blenny out. That's a next logical stop, step to do, to try. Fiji yellow, uh, Fiji yellow leather. On Instagram, a lot of people are telling me to just frag it because it doesn't fit right, especially with the Fiji band. People saying that, uh, just spread it, you know, it's good for the hobby. So maybe I'll do that. We don't know. 
Okay, Ray, get a six line rest, Monty eating nudies. I don't think it's a Monty eating nudies because I can't. I actually woke up a couple of nights just to try to catch him in action. I did not see anything. And also, notice that down here, there's no white spot. It's all up here. So that is the curious thing about it. Uh, over here, we got a couple of frags. I mean, these things are still opening up. The light just came on. This is, some of you guys asked, like, what happened to the frog spawn that got the uh, Jason Fox? Uh, limelight fell on it is right here slowly recovering this is in one hand i'm probably gonna save it for the uh the pico tank or hook up dc reefer we'll see if he needs it and there's more things i want to talk about on the 45 but let's move on uh we gotta save the snail right here snail life left do you want to feed the fish by the way yeah this right here you guys want to see emily feed fish no. yeah You're weston take out the ladder man people all hate the ladder man Oh, Master Aquarium. What's up, Mike? Sorry, I'm just catching up on to see who's in the stream right now. What's up, Rookie Reefer? Feeding fish? Oh, oh my goodness, that's a lot. <laughs> Jesus. Spoiled. God. <laughs> so if you guys see cyanobacteria in my tank in the future, next update, you know uh, what happened. Holy crap. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What's up, Liam? What's up, Jamie? What's up, New York J? Strikers Reefing. What's up? Have you had tentacles that fell off? So Striker's Reefing, really good, really good question because I did have small pieces of frog spawn fell off half a year ago, not recently. But those definitely sometimes fall on the Monty and Sting. All right, CJ, let me, let, let me <laughs> live, feed, feed. <laughs> okay, so here we go. You can feed a little bit for these fish as well. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the drop off thing. Yeah, no, 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 you're feeding in damsels. All right, before you feed, hold on, let me explain a little bit first. So Green Stop Polyp, shout out to CJ for the idea. He is uh, the guy that really pushed me to put the Green Stop Polyp down on the drop off. And it is honestly one of the best decisions. So thank you, CJ. Godfather CJ. <laughs> okay, so we got that right here. Uh, I started planting them at the bottom and I fracked them back a little bit. So I got some extra and I taped them to the side and hopefully they'll start spreading. But after two days, they have not opened yet. So I feel like there's not enough flow here. So I may turn up the... Uh, MP10. Shit, you know why? Because MP10 is not on. Hold on. God. Fail. So I was feeding. Um, here it goes. Gonna kick on. Uh, so I was feeding the fat dendro this morning, trying to nurse them back to health. Forgot to turn the MP10 back on. Look at all the fans. Crap. It's, uh, so wait, wait, wait. Mustang is still alive. No, no rest in peace yet. So all right, let me show you the. Uh, Fathead Andro. So this is the healthy one. That's what it's supposed to look like. Super aggressive. You put anything close to it, it just grab. That is the one I'm struggling with. That is the one that I feel like had a gut rot for the middle one, the middle polyp. And right now, uh, that polyp is gone. So I'm trying to save the other polyp. I'm debating if I should frag it, but a lot of you guys say that, no, don't frag it, just feed it. So I've been trying to feed it. I dip it in Revive twice la uh, last week. And some polyp responds to feeding, uh, but Others are not, like the tentacle is just not sticky, so it's probably bad. So this weekend, if it still looked like this, I'm gonna frag it back to save whatever polyp I could, but this is uh, looking bad. Otherwise, all the Zoa is actually doing really well, even though they're close up right now because the light just came on. The ladder, it looks really sad right now, but it's actually really healthy. The green ladder actually have polyps out now, so I'm really happy, no issue at all. And uh, I'm gonna talk about it in, I think in two videos about the GSP care and uh, how to keep them back or how not to because I completely failed. Uh, GSP is gonna take over a tank at this point. Nothing I could do. Uh, here's Mochi. Emily absolutely hate Mochi. And yeah. in this tank right now, we have, we have three damsels. Mustang is still alive and well. Usually the one closest to the rock is Mustang. He's the larger one. Uh, unfortunately, the Mustang Sally, the Sally is gone, <laughs> got eaten. I guess Mochi got too hungry. And here's the new one. You can, you can tell it's a new one because it goes down there. See, oh man, look at, look at Mustang. Like, nope, stay away. And right up here, we got a Domino Damsel that is serving us food for Mochi. That is the, all right, in the meantime. I don't know why I hate him. Okay, all right. Uh, Emily, would you like to feed a little bit to the Damsel? Not that much, okay? Just a little bit. Yeah, uh, less, no, no. <laughs> No, like a tiny pinch. Less. Is it? Less, 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 less. I less. don't have to lie to her. Okay, all right. Just, just, just dip your hand in there. It's too much, yeah. but Is yeah, it? just yeah. It's still too much. Yeah. Bring their hungry. All right. CJ's like, go for it, Emily. Ooh. Oh God. No, it's not. That is a lot. No. It's like do what I feels can't. right, CJ. <laughs> all right. So here's Mustang. You see, is really comfortable with the tank. 
uh, he this guy swims right in front of Mochi and tells that Mochi yeah, with no okay. fear. Uh, <laughs> and that's the new guy right there. Everyone's like, Cody's like perfect. What's up, Rico? Did not even see you in here. Sorry, I have not been monitoring the uh, the chat. And <laughs> Rondo's like, nitrates. That is exactly it. And even the little guy, the domino damsel, it's a uh, yeah, bike. Yeah, yeah. Emily actually really liked domino damsel because uh, I guess the underdog. And he's, she's been trying to get me to save him, put him in the 45 gallon nice. tank, which would be a terrible idea. What is this? The Cheesecake Factory? Oversized portions? We call it Cheesecake Factory. Welcome to the US. Yeah, my goodness. All right. Oh, yeah, that's right. Emily went to school in UK for a couple of years, so... And then she lives in Hong Kong. Uh, but she'll be in the US for a while. I and she'll be helping out. I Factory, by yeah, the way. Apparently, apparently she does. She's American at heart. All right, let's see. Okay, okay got a gut load. Mochi. All right, Mochi's on the move. Anyways, all right, let's move on to the next tank. We got two more to go through. Actually, three. These are uh, really small freshwater tank. Oh, here's a terrarium, but you can't really that's see mine. it. Yeah. Oh, that's her. That's her tank. Yay. Here's a Totoro inside. And these are native species right behind my house. We're just, I just built this. Uh, it's really cool, actually. And here is the uh, temporary guppy tank. You see that I actually uh, got rid of or gave away a lot of my guppies. Um, and you see the... Look at these giant ghost shrimp from Mochi. Insane. And check out the cherry shrimp. Look at the cherry shrimp. Really cool, guys. And the plant's actually growing well. It's taking roots. It's growing tall, right? Um, but here's the planted tank. That is still uh, doing the dry start. There's still yellowing leaves, but then I feel like there's more green now. So that is awesome. So they're adjusting to uh, terrestrial settings. And uh, hopefully, once they're all green and spread a little bit more, maybe in two weeks, I'll flood it. And lastly, We'll show you what Emily is holding. Uh, okay. This is the... Is a lion? Yeah, the Lion King. The Lion King tank. You got it. So if you look really carefully here, let's put it under the light so people can see. Okay. Uh, and let's find them. So I think... Yeah, so a little backstory if you're not following me on Instagram. Uh, I picked these guys up from Manhattan Aquarium. Uh, well, I picked up five cherry shrimps, right? Mm -hmm. And along the way, uh, they gave birth. So I think... We have five babies in here. But in the last two weeks, two I think three died because like there's no sport circulation, there's no heater. This was sitting by the window and that's my fault. I should bring it a little bit inside, closer to the house. Um, so we got, I think we got two or three remaining. So there's two at the bottom right. and there's oh, actually one that's see. really red huh. right there. Okay, that's a tiny one. You guys probably cannot see this because I know the YouTube stream is oh, really pixelated. Okay, there's another one. Oh, so we got four. More than four. Yeah. And they're just kind of picking off food from the macro algae. Mm -hmm. So it's really cool. But yeah. I find a fish, though. Okay. All right, see what's up. Hey, what's up, Dave's? Uh, yo, Dave, you just missed the, uh, the Voss. I was kind of asking you guys for opinion on uh, which aquascape to go with. So, yeah, it's going to look like this. No, it's not. There's more stuff in there. All right, guys. Uh, so that is pretty much it. It is supposed to be a really quick stream. It is supposed to be a 10-minute stream. And most likely, I'll delete this right after because I feel like um, I just kind of share a lot of content that I'm going to make video of uh, in the next three or four weeks. Uh, but I, I'll go a little bit more in-depth in terms of like my thought behind certain things, certain actions, and actually show you what I did. Hey, look. The tentacle is actually coming out a little bit. But the issue is that they are not grabbing food. It's not sticky, so it uh, may not be good. Anyways. Uh, they all fun? <laughs> all right, anyways, thank you for following along, especially on a Monday night. Um, I don't do live stream often, so I'm really sorry if I miss you guys coming in or miss anything like that. Um, yeah, just leave a comment. Oh, shit, I can't even see the comment, right? Yeah, people said, you. can you just, like, keep it? No, well, don't delete it. Yeah, the thing is, like, uh, like all these live comments, I don't think I'm able to see it, and that's what I really want to see. That's the thing that, because I really want to interact with you guys. But anyway, still new to it. I'll try a little bit more and see how it goes. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys are still hanging out, uh, if you guys want more live streaming, I think Rico's Reef Tank is in the chat right now. I'm sure he's probably still doing live stream right now. Mm -hmm. Come over to his channel and uh, continue to party over there, Rico's Reef Tank. All right, guys, with that said, Wait, people say, oh, yeah. 
ask me to show up in the next video. Oh, well, ask her. I mean, but we have here. 90 likes right now. If we got 100, oh my God. <laughs> maybe no. I will try to. 91 now. This girl is vicious. Guys. <laughs> There's only 91, so it's not gonna Oh, happen. people ask for my number. Oh my God. <laughs> Wait, Wait, you or or your number. Oh, Maybe no, no, your no. number. <laughs> oh, 97. <laughs> 99. Okay, oh, I guess one you're more. Okay, we are ending. Oh. We're 100? Okay, all right. It's let's add it. Yeah. All right. See you guys. Thanks for hanging out. Bye. Oh, it's awkward. You're going to keep ending. Wait, I, I couldn't. This is awkward. I don't